What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today I'm going to be telling you about an epic purchase that I made, and then we're going to do a quick opening. But before that, the giveaway. I'll be giving away these four cards, and actually it's not me, it's a viewer sent these in. He actually sent a ton of cards in. He said it wouldn't be a Ruxin 34 giveaway without the Clock Tower Prison. And if you guys don't get that, it's because you haven't been around for a very long time. Because this is at this point over a year old of a meme. But it's hilarious. So if you have not seen my Enemy of Justice openings, go check them out and then you will understand what this means. But this this is a long time viewer. So he sent in the Clock Tower Prison. Got a Dest Volst. Yeah, Volst Golf from the Gold Series. And then the Zira, the Mant, and the Zira Ritual. So you guys have a chance to win that. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and go ahead and thank the viewer down below for sending in the giveaway cards. He sent them in a while ago. I think it was Cyhawk. You can let me know in the comments, Cyhawk, if it was you. If not, let me know if I messed that up. All right, so I made a big purchase recently. A friend of mine hit me up and he asked me, do you want to buy this box for me? And I said, yes, I do want to buy that box. And I was like, how much? He told me the price. And I said, uh, how quick do you need to, to get paid? And he was like, pretty quick, because I need to buy a car. This guy asked me to buy his, his Yu-Gi-Oh box so he could buy a literal car. So naturally I said, yeah, let's do it. I got the box. You guys want to see what this box is? It's a box we've never opened on the channel. It's a very rare box, and it's first edition. Phantom Darkness, first edition. So, what is so special about this box? Inside, yeah, there are a little couple rips here. Inside, wow, that is creepy. I never noticed that face, to be honest. That is the first time I've ever noticed that. That is scary. That is terrifying, actually. The Ubel Terror Incarnate. Terror. Terrifying. Yeah, okay, so what is so special about this box? Inside is the Dark Arm Dragon, which at the time in the meta at like 2008, I believe, 2008, 2009, was one of the most powerful cards ever. It was so powerful. I've heard that it, was, it cost $300 on the market back then just to get one because they were so expensive. Everyone had it in their deck. I think you played three of them or like maybe two. I don't know if it was three, but they're absolutely insane. So it's it's like a 2800. I think you banish, if you have three in your graveyard, darks in your graveyard, you banish them and then you can get a 28 onto the field. You can pop uh, any card you want at the cost of one dark in your graveyard. I think that's, I think that's the right effect. It's a really strong card. And it was just so good at the time, everyone ripped open all these boxes. So the first editions are extremely hard to find. It's just really tough to get them. And uh, yeah, so it's it's pretty crazy. So this is a very, very expensive box. This and Light of Destruction. This was the second to last GX set. Hopefully I didn't mess that up because I always get them confused. I think it was Phantom Darkness, then Light of Destruction. And then it went on to um, the 5D. So after that, it was... Uh, the Duelist Genesis. So I picked this box up. We are going to be opening this at some point. Obviously, I mean, it has the it has the rip, so it's perfect to open. Um, it is not. It is going to be with a with someone on YouTube. So I, I'm going to save it for then. It's going to be a few weeks before we open it up. So it's not coming up super soon, but it's also not that far away. But I wanted to let you guys know that I picked it up. I thought it was hilarious that the guy actually, my friend actually bought a car with the with the money. I don't know if I I don't know if it was just this money. But this definitely contributed to him getting a car. He didn't have a car. He had been. He said he'd been using his uh, girlfriend's car during the pandemic. Now she had to go back to work, so he needed a car. Like he actually had to buy a car. So he sold this Yu-Gi-Oh box, and it helped him buy a car. He actually sent me a picture of it. So it was pretty cool. So I thought it was. It was an interesting story to tell you guys. I asked to make sure. I was like, "Is it okay if I tell him that you bought a car?" Then he said, "Yeah, it's totally fine." So we picked up a first edition Phantom Darkness box, and my friend bought a car with it. So that's pretty crazy. We also have this epic. I don't know what this is, expansion pack. I'm actually really interested to see what's in here. It's a Korean box. It was sent as an extra when I bought an Exodia first edition PSA 10 limb. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna cut open all these packs so we don't have to like wait all day for me to open these up. And then we can just get through the card because I have no idea what's inside. Okay, we're back. I cut them all open. I mixed them up a little bit. It seems like Korean packs often are like in order and stuff. That's with the LOB pack. So these actually have like eight cards per pack, which is really cool. It's not the five like usual. So I don't know. I don't really know what's in here. There's a My Body, a Bazoo. These are old school cards. So maybe this is an old school box. King Tiger Wangu just saw this in the progression series. And okay, lots of old school cards. The uh, Apprentice Magician. There's less packs. There's not 40 packs, and they have more cards, which I like that better. I don't like having a million packs of five cards where some of them have some. The Ruxin Special. Some of them having something good and some don't. There's a Secret Rare. 
That is called the... Oh, what is this? Isn't this in... Where are my sleeves? This is in... Phantom Darkness, maybe? Isn't that... That's weird. I feel like it... Or maybe it's Force of the Breaker. I can't remember. So we rushed and special that one. We got the Secret Rare. I forgot. You got to be really careful on these Korean packs. Because they will slide out like crazy. Okay, there's a Gravekeeper Spy. I kind of like this. These are nice. Pyramid Turtle. Trap Dust Shoot. Okay, what... What set is this supposed to be? Is this like Dark Beginning or something like that? No, because we're in GX. I don't know what this is. Or we have GX cards. Fire Princess. It feels like old school, though. The Swarm of Locusts. Mage Power. We've got a Freed. Oh, a Wave Motion Cannon. Nice. All right. We've got a Book of Life. We've got Gravekeeper's Assailant, Raigeki Break. Oh, Rux is special again. The Grave Gravekeeper. A Kaiku. Zeno. Why does that just say Zeno? I can't remember what that guy's real name is. I can't remember what his real name is. I don't know. There is a Kaiku. That looks really good. This set is kind of lit. What is this? It's a really cool set. All right, Dark Room of Nightmare. We've got the Fire Princess. Let's go 100%. Okay, I don't know what this card is. Like, I, I don't know. And I said that last time, and I remember that you guys were like, how do you not know what that is? And now I still don't know what it is. Swarm of Locusts. Oh, wait, a gold rare? <laughs> is this supposed to be a gold rare in here? This is weird. Just a random gold rare in there? Okay, that's really cool. And it's a breaker, too. That's sick. That would be cool to use in uh, Goat. Look at that. I like this set. There's all kinds of weird rarities in here. <laughs> Wave Motion Cannon. Okay. I don't know what to expect. We've had like a Parallel Secret. We've had a Gold Rare. We've had a Super Rare. Dark Room of Nightmare. We've got Great Keeper Spy. We've got a Mask of Restrict. No! The Ruxin Special. Why Ruxin? Why do you do... Another Wave Motion and another ma <laughs> Apprentice Magician. Wow. And that is a Nightmare Wheel. There is a ton of foils in here so far. Unless I didn't mix them up well and they're about to all be done. I'm so confused, like, I don't even know, I don't know, we haven't pulled like an ultra rare yet, just a regular ultra rare, that is a, that's the one that protects the, um, sp spell counters or something, fire princess, no, 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 it's impossible not to, <laughs> creature swap, <sighs> come on, I can't not rux and special it, I just can't, I, guys, I just can't, be someone that I'm not. I'm Ruxin. I skip all the cards right to the foil on accident. That's how it goes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Book of Life. Okay, here we go. We're holding these super tight. We're not going to Ruxin special this. Here we go. Ragaki Break. Sasuke Samurai. Look at that. I told you. There's an ultra rare Neospatian Grandma. What is this set? This is the weirdest set ever. It's like old school. It's GX. It's all kinds of random stuff. It's got all kinds of weird rarities. There's tons of foils in here. Okay, it's really cool. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay. Gravekeeper Spy. Uh, Curse of Royal or something. Got a Pyramid Turtle. We got something peeking out. Exiled Force Gold Rare. This set is sick. It's like a GOAT format set with a little, some GX stuff after it too. Just like staples and stuff. That is so cool. Is that Deslacuda? Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. All right, I'm kind of hyped up about this set. Expansion pack. All right, here we go. Gravekeeper's Guard. Rageki Break. Sasuke Samurai. Spear Dragon. That's the first rare in a hot minute. We have had so much good stuff. Oh, okay. Let's go like this. All right, there we go. We should do the card trick with these because that way I won't Rux and Special it. Will I? No, I'll probably still do it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if I still rush and special it. Wave motion. The koala. We've got my body as a shield. Gravekeeper spy. Curse of royal. Gravekeeper spear soldier. And a Don's Luke. I saw this one had it like a ding on the back. I think. Maybe not. Oh man, so many cool old cards. There's like tons of foils in here. I mean, what is that? Like eight or something already? Do we only get one secret rare? Did we already pull it? Okay, here we go. That actually worked out with the uh, the card trick. The Locusts. And United We Stand. Okay. The Old Man with the Poison. The Poison of the Old Man. There we go. 
Dark Room of Nightmare has led the pack like almost every time. Another Gravekeeper, Mask of Restrict, Gravekeeper, Spear Soldier. We got a Bottomless, oh my goodness. And a Wave Motion Cannon. There's still a ton of pack slots and we've already got like 20 foils. Here we go, Book of Life. Fire Princess. That card. Pyramid Turtle. Ooh, and Azura Priest. Very nice. Just like every single Super Rare has been a GOAT format card, except uh, Don Zalug, which is like a DCR format, which is like the one right before it. All right. Book of Life. Gravekeeper's Assailant. Raigeki Break. Gravekeeper's Spear Soldier. And a Necro Valley. Okay, Zeno. The Zeno Man. There he is again. Oh, man, we still have a ton of packs left. Like, I'm, I'm just like, what is... What is the deal here? There's so many of them. Dark Room and Nightmare. Why do we get so many foils? Spy? Does anyone know? Restrict? Pyramid Turtle? Ooh, Hades. It feels like we're slowing down, though. So maybe we pulled most of them at the beginning. That's probably what happened. Whew. We got a Magic Reflector. That's what it is. Fire Princess. Curse of Royal. The Swarm of Locusts. I think it's something like that. And an Old Vindictive Magician. Nice. Next one. Can we get another secret or a ghost rare or something? I, I wouldn't even be shocked. To see, okay, I'd be a little bit shocked. But seeing a ghost rare, I'd be like, oh, of course. There is a reinforcement of the army. Is that the number one rarity is the secret rare? The parallel secret? What about like um, collector's rarity or something like that? They have all kinds of crazy stuff in, in the Korean packs. Another Necro Valley. Necro Valley's got a long name in Korean. We have now five packs left, something like that. Dark Room of Nightmare. We got the Gravekeeper Spy, Mask of Restrict, Pyramid Turtle, another Hades or Hades. All right, we are on a cold streak. So I mixed them up, but it didn't seem like it did too much. Curse of Royal. Maybe I mixed one up. Old Vindictive. Old Vindictive and the Poison of the Old Man in the same pack. Okay. Here we go. My Body Bazoo. That card. Swarm. King Tiger Wang Hu. All right. Two packs remain in this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. This different Korean opening. A pack I've never heard of and I don't think I released in English. So, pretty cool. Spear Dragon. Final pack. Final chance at something big. We hit a ton of stuff early. Let's see if we can hit something good here. Book of Life. Assailant. The card. Oh. And Old Vindictive. Okay, so we definitely pulled a ton at the beginning. <laughs> Let's see what it was. All right, so from that box, we pulled one, two, three, four, five super rares, one, two gold rares. No, one ultra rare, two gold rares, and one secret rare. So that's nine foils. So interesting ratio. It was like a little bit different. There was a lot of cool old school cards. I really enjoyed opening that. Hope you guys are looking forward to the Phantom Darkness first edition opening that's coming up in a couple weeks. If you did, like the video, subscribe for more epic openings. We have more awesome stuff coming up as well. We will also be opening a first edition Legacy of Darkness booster box live tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central, the normal time, assuming that we sell the last three packs. At the time of recording this, we have three more packs to sell. Check out ruxin34.com if you're interested. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! <laughs> <laughs>